Hey fellas, just like give you a little bit of taste of taste of what's the line where I'm meaning Ultra Adventure B logs for the and for the second season, as well as any future reaction ones and journeys. I mean a little bit of correction, like one of the comments I had like on the most recent one I did. It's actually the interaction with Faba and James in the finale, not the one I just looked at, so Oh, anyway, hey, now that I've gotten that out of the way, that correction, let's look at, at Pokemon Journeys episode 60. He, he, a chivalrous charge, aimed to be a Scallion Master, which sees his Ash take on, on, on Rinto and his Glade alongside his Glare and Farfetch'd for the that's for the a hey, Pokemon World on Championships Hips Hips in the Great Cup and while the thumbnail I chose should give an idea about the outcome um, which means that I can legit use that piece of piece of fan art here. I'm just going on record saying that I'm not a big fan of Rinto's character. I mean, at all. I mean, I mean, he has some brass uh, saying that his opponent's out of potential and he himself has proven to be nothing thing, than some condescending thing. person would probably hey, be he's spending all his time in your haze, man. Is I mean, I was the first time I wonder hundred when they just, this came up, man. Couldn't they have used someone like say, hey, Beatty, and maybe making stakes a little bit higher? Here, I mean, maybe again, this makes me wonder how they're gonna use him. Um, depending on what happens, but still, I should find out soon enough. That said, the battle itself is at least pretty well handled, and not even getting the leak. Okay, cut is enough to deter her Galarian Furfet, so... And... I'm also kind of liking how... How they're not really... Really taking his... Taking his threat as taunt seriously, and not even the Fiend is going to be enough... Enough to stop him, I mean... him, so... It's definitely a situation, and that's one of the more unique, like a, like evolution episodes I've seen, and, and that being the case, I actually think that I still is further proof how, how the, how the idea that they're bad at planning things out, that's actually a little bunk. In fact, I would even suggest they're actually better at doing this than other series. Series mean. Here's and here's and with that in mind, it need I mean it specifically needed both uh, both the experience and the bond was like in the games to have this to happen and sure enough it has all in the surface of critical moments went and even with Galay's special abilities he manages to win the match and Ash manages to pass has even be in the Great League, I mean, though, still, oh, the fact that, that some of the gym leaders might be in the Ultra League does mitigate this somewhat, and uh, we at least know oh, that Leon, Ryan, and, and Lance are in the Master League, so that still leaves at least five more members of the Masters 8 to be revealed and like I said I'm not going to be doing every single one of these since mainly because the show is on hiatus here's for a couple weeks kind of like what happened last year when everything happened at once and, and but still I am glad with how this evolution episode turned out and how and I'll probably be talking about how Episodes when they stand out at me, and I'm also still working on the dub on Netflix, and hopefully, 
Hey, well, here's something about the dub of the, of the next movie soon. 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 I mean, especially as more people, people won't get immunity for now. I mean, I'm probably going to be eligible all in all on the 16th, the earliest, I mean, in my state. So, anyway, hey, hey, that's all I got to say for now. Let me know what you thought of this episode of anything at all. Oh, and tomorrow I'll get you my belated thoughts on on, on the Red Band Transfer V Suicide Squad. So, later. Mm.